Hello everyone. Tonight I want to talk about how to get dull skin into glowing skin, which is really key this time of the year, isn't it? So at this time, this present time, we've got lots of clients coming in all over um, the UK into beauty clinics, skin clinics with, you know, problem skin, dull skin. What is going on? It seems dull, thickened. Um, you've got congested skin going on and I've got to tell you that happens every year when you get all these worries and it really is just because you've come out of winter. So think about this, your skin is actually hibernating during the winter time and when it's hibernating the skin renewal system is slowing down, okay, that's what's actually happening and your skin is thickening up, the layers of the skin are thickening up and that's what gives the skin this dull appearance. Okay, and it can look thickened, you can get congested, you can get spots and you've never, you're not prone to spots all at this time of the year. So, okay, are you finding your skin dull, anyone? Well, tell me. Hi, Lindsay. Tell me if your skin is all right. So, if you're finding it dull, you've got to think one word, one word. We need to speed up the skin renewal system. We need to kick the dead skin off and what is going to do that? exfoliate exfoliate there's a secret so how do you exfoliate properly and thoroughly the best thing to do is especially for the girls at night in the evening you want to make sure you get all the makeup off face and eye makeup all the makeup off first then when you do it hi Noor when you get the makeup off I want you to use the appropriate cleanser next so you're getting all the dirt and grime the makeup off and then the appropriate cleanser onto the skin and you're cleansing it and then it's ready for your next step the skin scrub I really only want you doing the skin scrub at night before you go to bed have you heard me saying that before <laughs> Because the reason for that is at night between the hours of 1 and 4 in the morning when you're sleeping, guess what? Your skin is working to refresh, renew and detox itself. So it's really important that your skin is cleansed thoroughly at night. So no going out late at night and then, you know, having a couple and then toddling into bed and leaving the full makeup on. No, it can't happen. So... You're going to scrub and I want you to think about really using not harsh scrubs but I want you to think about a nice gentle scrub that you're going to polish off. You want to polish off the dead skin cells thinking of polishing the skin smoother and doing that in the evening. The other thing is when you do it in the evening you're not going to stimulate and desensitize or sensitize your skin. If you did the exfoliation in the morning right think about it just now we're walking outside and there's brisk winds, freezing winds, rain, all of that stuff is going on outside just now. And if you did the cleanse routine with the scrub in the morning, you're going to make your skin more sensitive. And I don't want you to do that. Mm -mm, no, no. So only use the scrub at night. Now that's for all the girls, okay? So exfoliate at night remember when you do the exfoliation night as well you've got a really very clean skin okay it's been polished smooth so then pat the skin dry and then anything you put on top of it then if you put a serum on or a moisturizer that is going to absorb much better and work much better into the skin are you listening to me please <laughs> so when you put the moisturizer on Okay, you put the moisturiser on top, that is the next key for this type of time of year, but you do not use a heavy moisturiser. In the winter, I'm always saying in the winter time, um, if your skin is dry, you want to put the moisturiser on, let it absorb, yes, and then once it's absorbed, if it still feels tight anywhere, apply it again. Now this time of year coming into spring, I want you to think opposite, I want you to think, right, one layer of moisturiser, probably should be enough unless you've got that very very dry cracked open skin then you really need to moisturize more but generally a lightweight moisturizer a lighter formula for this time of year okay you do you don't want to you've got it clean you're going to exfoliate you're going to speed up the skin renewal a light moisturize what you need don't forget the eye cream is anybody forgetting that eye cream just now 
because I don't want you to forget it. You've got to use eye cream, okay? Really from your late 20s right through, okay? And you put, use, think about eye creams as protecting you, especially if they're full of antioxidant eye creams. If you put them on, they're protecting from the damaging rays of the sun round that eye area, okay? Stop the collagen destroying rays. I'm hoping that's getting through. So you must make sure you put your eye cream on in the evening before bed and at, before you go outside during the daytime. Eye cream's a must. And I'm always going to say this. The final thing to put on your face is sunscreen. Yes, sunscreen. We're getting these rays from everywhere now. I want you to think about a sunscreen with zinc oxide. And a good friend of mine recently said something that I loved. She said, zinc oxide is like putting little mirrors all over your face so that it's deflecting the damaging rays from smartphones, laptops, iPads, and the sun, okay? So sunscreen should go on last. Now, sunscreen, I hope we're all using it every day, not just this time of year, okay? That is a secret, one of the most, the best secret for skincare, Number one secret I would say is always use a sunscreen, especially now with all the amount of different rays that we're hitting our skin all the time. It's like light pollution is going on big time, big time now. Okay, so if you aren't watching live, remember you can comment later. You can ask any questions below in the comments. Uh huh. If you want to have the best skin of your life, yes, you can email me, joan at glformulations.com. Remember, I have got stockists all over UK and fantastic GL advanced estheticians out there who are ready to look after your skin. So contact us to find out who your local esthetician is. And I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a fantastic week. And Noor, one last thing to you. I want you to keep that skin from getting overheated during that fantastic home baking that you do. Looking forward to one of your cakes soon. Take care and have a great week, everybody. Bye.